Welcome to Skook Strange World. My name is Marissa. I've been reading a wonderful book called Simulated Multiverse, and I'll put a link below in the description box. Have you ever thought about the nature of reality? We always think that, uh, I mean, we're raised that everything is real, everything's predictable, that science is all figured out most of it and now we've kind of discovered with quantum physics that that's not really so there's many things that we don't know that we're finding out uh, that we don't know we were pretty arrogant for an awful long time I will be trying to put forth some things I learn in the various things I read and my various experiences to try to make a little bit of sense for myself personally, if not for someone else, to help understand this very strange world we live in. And you know the Georgia Guidestones were, uh, I guess they were vandalized and destroyed. And that was kind of a mystery and not a very happy one. Um, and then we have, you know, that all brings to mind the ideas of the Illuminati and the Cabal and all those, uh, all those shadow organizations that there are various conspiracy theories about, uh, the World Banks. I mean, some of them aren't conspiracies. We know some of them are actually true. And uh, I remember hearing, uh, and thinking about, you know, that, uh, we have the dark and the light here, the good forces and the negative forces, and those things uh, are always at odds. We live in a world of duality. Uh, oneness is on the other side when we return to spirit. And uh, the book talks about that he believes that, well, very, very sundry people believe that there's a group of ETs or spiritual guides or whatever you want to call them that are... Uh, trying to fix the timelines to help ascend the entire earth to a higher level, to a more perfect spiritual uh, pinnacle. And then as they, they're trying to they tweak things in the past and it has like a big, huge effect in the future, and it ends up changing the, the present, the past, and the future. And this is going on, and we call this the Mandela Effect. And it it is a great deal more amazing than we can even imagine. Really, it is. And the truly uh, fascinating thing is, uh, you know, I brought this to a different level here. I thought, well, does this mean that, you know, usually because we do live in a world duality, I would say that means that we also have a, another group of entities or people that are working to bring more darkness to the timelines than to twist them into their benefit at the detriment of everyone else. So here we go, you know, we have the dark and the light, and I think, well, you see this, we have these periods when we, we're full of hope, when things are going great and things are getting better, then all of a sudden, wham! We go through a spate, a period of tremendously depressing events. And it's like this push-pull thing from one group to another, trying to tweak the timelines, one for the benefit of all of us, and one for their own personal benefit. So that's just a little bit of multiverse musing for you today. Uh, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you like what I do, and keep thinking those good thoughts. Mm -hmm.